I got a 40 volt capsule in series just to limit the counts to the 240 volts AC which is providing our voltage gradient in the water. The 12 volts DC motor furnishes the power to the rotary spindle. In the current setup we've got 195 volts across the two electrodes. Um, the lamp there absorbs about 40 volts, so we go halfway. Water is quite high resistance, you get about a 90, 97 volts mark. Got a bit higher here, 122, 134, 150. So, I'll draw that out on a piece of paper. That means the LED is an easier path, so there will be a bit more current flowing, so the LED is about 1.7 to 2 volts. To want to simplify diagram, what we've done in 240 volts AC, active 40 volt bulb, which is glowing, drops about 40 volts, so we've got 190 volts AC, one terminal, 0 volts on the other side. So the power gradient will be across these lines, roughly 170, 150, halfway 110, and so back to 0. So, the LEDs, if they in this particular position, they will provide an easier parallel path to the water, so they will be eliminated in this particular position. the potential or voltage gradient in water 240 volts AC when the LEDs are in this position 3 o'clock phase, 9 o'clock phase, the LEDs will be glowing because there's a voltage gradient across the two terminals When the LEDs are in the 12 to 6 position, they are off because they are in parallel with the voltage gradient, hence there is no step potential across the LEDs. We are using AC, but the resistance in the water will allow um, the reverse polarity not to harm the LED as such, so they are running on uh, 3 to 5 milliampere. I'll de-energize the light so we can see a bit better what we're doing here at the moment. So this is just a little aerial view and it uh, looks quite cool to watch. I'll try to upload this video shortly and then uh, yeah. Any questions? Uh, or you're not sure? Just put in uh, questions and then I'll try to reply on it.